everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today is Sunday, February 16th, 2025. They had an earthquake yesterday at about 2.15 p.m. along the San Jacinto Fault Zone, the San Jacinto Mountains. Uh, that was Saturday afternoon. A lot of strain has built up over the years within this location. It is capable of having a magnitude 6, maybe even a magnitude 7. 295 people said they felt this earthquake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. This is an area where the fault zone is locked. So people within this area should be prepared for a large earthquake. You can see we got here the ends of valley. Yeah, can you imagine having a magnitude 7 earthquake? This 3.5 earthquake was reportedly felt as far as surrounding areas of Hemet, Palm Spring, and as far south as San Diego. Here are the felt reports. Yeah, all the way down to San Diego. Here we got intensity level 2. Uh, one report from there. And let's see. Uh, San Dimas intensity level 3. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. Mountain Center, intensity level 4. Two reports there. Iguana, um, intensity level 4. Two reports from there. Um, Valley Center, intensity 4. One report there. EMSC reports. We got, um, let's see, a brief pop from Palm Springs. Brief but noticeable shake from Cathedral City. Homeland, slight shake, uh, more like a shimmy. Sun City, a uh, little shake here in the Mephi. Let's see, uh, Corona, fell in Corona. Shook for about three seconds there. That was 81 kilometers northwest. So that would be about 50 miles. Uh, Lancaster, light sway, side to side motion, rocking lasted for a couple of seconds. You know, this is quite serious about the tension that has built up in this location because of the locked segments. The San Jacinto Fault Zone is a major strike slip fault zone that runs through San Bernardino, Riverside, San Diego, and Imperial Counties in Southern California. The SJFZ is a component of the larger San Andreas Transform system and is considered to be the most active. The Anza slip gap is about a 40 kilometer or 25 mile segment of the San Encinto fault that separates fault segments ruptured during the uh, 6.8 earthquake in 1918. Uh, that would be this one up. Let's see. I thought I had it here. Oh, there it is right there. 1918. That was a magnitude 6.8. This area of the um, Anza Gap or the San Jacinto uh, Fault Zone has not known to rupture within recent historic times. The last time was in 1918. Borehole testing um, has indicated that the strain is built up within 5 kilometers of the upper crust which is about 3.1 miles. And as you know, the shallower the earthquake, the more damage and more likely it is felt. The deeper the earthquake, yeah, less damage and not as many people would reportedly um, say that they felt the earthquake. So if it's locked within the upper crust, about 3.1 miles, and it could have a magnitude 6 to a 7, you better hold on to your seats. They also know that the fault extends about 13 miles or 22 kilometers to the northwest. Yeah, it's a deep fault zone. Yeah, and capable of having, yeah, some major events. Yeah, things that they probably don't tell you living there. Um, over here we got Hemet. And this here is the Anza Valley. Um... What are your thoughts? Are you prepared? Will you possibly prepare even more so now that you know that this area is locked and capable of having 
such a very large earthquake? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.